It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Howdy viewers, Brad Pryor, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Since this is my second playthrough and I really started to explore the world, I had the characters interact with various people. You bump into just random encounters and the detail is pretty incredible. I mean, it's a fascinating game that requires in-depth play. And that's why I'm doing these videos. And if you like them, you should subscribe because you'll stay informed. So let's get on with interesting people that you run into in Red Dead Redemption 2. Morning. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Okay. You've made a wonderful choice. It is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is. Not what life could be, but what it is. And it is very dangerous. But with Chelonianism, it can be safe. Well, it's all in this book. Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a little. I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. Let me vote, let me vote. I will say this for as long as it takes. Come on, people. Let me vote. Monsieur? Good morning. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? And voting? Sure. Why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. I mean, anyone dumb enough to want to vote, go right ahead. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Now, the next encounter, you got to find him in the woods somewhere, and he's interesting. If you encounter him as Arthur, and you come back as John, he's not there. But if you ignore him as Arthur, and you turn as John, yeah, he will be there. Either way, it's dictated by which character you encounter him with first. You go away. Mister, I thought I told you to go away. You did. But you haven't. Why would I listen to you? You're a hermit. I am not a hermit. I'm the king. The king. Came 
This self-styled king is right here where I'm showing you on the map. And you can come back as John if you've played as Arthur. And again, I'll show you kind of what happens. Yeah, you can launch some fire at him. I'm being nasty, but the reality is you're basically just harassing the poor guy. I decided to return as John, and the guy wasn't there. Again, you can ignore him as Arthur, and you come back as John, he'll probably be there. If you come as Arthur, and then leave and return as John, he's gone. And it makes sense because essentially eight years has passed, and the guy probably wouldn't be able to live in the tree forever. If anything, he probably died or something of malnourishment. And again, on the map right here in the upper north, what would be east of the map. Yeah, the king of whatever, his own little land. So on with the next encounter. The town is sick. Stay away. Stay away. Evening. Hey, friend. Place is full of cholera. Head in there at your own peril. Well, half the town has died and most of the rest have fled. Still? Sure. A few years ago, it was the scarlet fever. Then it was the desert plague. Then typhus. Now the cholera. Bad business. Some folks say the whole town is cursed. Whole town's got cholera! Here. You can read for yourself. Thank you. Come on. Go. Town has got sickness. Hear me, hear me now. Enough already. Let's Whole go. Whole town has got sickness. Leave town if you can. All right, all right. Leave town if you can. Honey, honey, someone's coming. Look. Okay, well, I think that should do it. Let's go. We're leaving town. There's a cholera epidemic. I suggest you do the same. Where? Oh, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh, Lord, you're heavy. Keep your distance, friend. These bodies ain't safe to be around. What's wrong with them? Aside from being dead. You ain't heard about the cholera plague in Armadillo? Most of the towns either died or up and left. So, why are you burning them? It's what the town folk want. Trying to stop the spread. It's terrible business. But lucrative, I have to say.
me, please. I've been witness to stranger things. Morning. Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? No, nope. but I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Maybe he just left. Gavin? No. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Eight years later, John encounters Gavin's friend. And this is what he has to say. Have you once seen an Englishman called Gavin? Good morning. I'm... I'm looking for my friend. And Gavin. For Gavin. Has he been gone long? Uh, yeah. A few years. A few bloody years. <laughs> I can't, um... I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I've wasted my life. I've wasted my life looking. I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. <laughs> Come in. Good luck. Oh, I am so oh, worried. Gav. Gav. Uh, Gav. And there you have it, viewers. Interesting encounters. I mean, when you explore this game and talk to random people, it's kind of fun. Very interesting and very detailed. I'll probably do a third playthrough and explore even deeper. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. If you enjoy this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon because I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and some specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.